This is a Zhiyun Smooth Q gimbal. It's designed for smartphones. You can also use it with GoPro type action cameras. The idea of this is that if you're videoing with your phone or your GoPro, that as you're moving around, the gimbal keeps the phone or the GoPro steady. If you're the sort of person that's always taking videos with your mobile phone and you want your videos to look that little bit more professional, in fact quite a lot more professional, then you should maybe look at buying one of these and I think this is a brilliant gimbal for the price. This is jet black, it's available in space grey, gold and rose gold. This is how it arrives. Inside the box is the gimbal, a strap that attaches to this case, a micro USB to USB charging cable and a set of instructions. The case is semi rigid but it will definitely provide adequate protection for the gimbal. So that's me just put the battery on charge, we've got a flashing yellow light there to say that the battery is charging. And there that's the battery charge, we've got a steady yellow light. There's a tripod mount on the base of the unit so I'm going to use that to mount it onto a tripod so we can have a better look at it. Now this is an iPhone 5C. With the control panel at the front you want this motor at the back and then this motor over at the right hand side as you're looking at it. The camera is at this side. Push it into the bottom bracket, lift up the top bracket and then slide it along that way until it's touching that rubber support there. And then if I let that go you can see it's slightly out of balance. Balancing the phone is fairly easy, you slacken this off at the back and that allows the arm to slide backwards and forwards. Now you can see I've gone too far, it's gone the other way. So I had to look at that. <laughs> All you've got to do is find the point where the phone balances, which is there, and then tighten it up. To turn the unit on, you need that motor at the back, this motor at the side, and then there's a button there with a red dot in, that's a power button. If you keep your finger press on that for a few seconds you'll see there's a yellow flashing light then the blue light comes on and then that's the gimbal ready to go. The blue flashing light that you can see there that's a battery level indicator. If you watch it you'll see it flashes four times. Four times means that the battery is between 100% and 76%. If it's flashing three times it's between 75% and 51%. If it's flashing two times it's between 50% and 26% and if it's only flashing once it's between 25 and 1%. The gimbal always starts in pan following mode and in pan following mode if you turn the stabiliser left or right then the phone will follow the stabiliser but the tilt and roll axis are fixed and you've also got the joystick there so that you can adjust the tilt with a joystick. So if you press the mode button again then it locks all three of the axes. You can move the gimbal any way you want and the camera or phone remains in the same position. You can operate the joystick to pan or tilt. If you press a mode button twice it goes into following mode. In following mode you can control the roll axis with the joystick and then wherever you move the gimbal to the camera will follow. So you can point it directly downwards, point it directly upwards. So and the last thing that it does, if you press that mode button three times, it reverses the camera so you can use that for selfies. So we'll take a closer look at the controls. So I've already mentioned the blue flashing light there which is a battery indicator. This light on the right hand side if I turn it off it's called the status light it flashes when it goes off and it flashes when you turn it on that also is a battery charge indicator then we've got the joystick and you can move that in any direction underneath that we've got the mode button the mode button will change it from pan following mode to following mode or locking mode and you've also got what I call selfie mode and this is called the shifter lever now if you've got a more modern phone than mine, I believe anything from iPhone 6 upwards, you can control the camera with some of these buttons. You can record with this button on the camera and you can zoom in and out with this slider, but you need to have the app installed on the phone. You can also change the way that the phone is orientated, so if you slacken this off at the back, you can twist this round and make it so that the phone is vertical rather than horizontal. That just means if you like videoing in portrait mode, then that's fairly simple as well. And I mentioned at the beginning that you can mount certain types of GoPro action cameras. In order to do that, you've got to actually change the bracket into portrait mode. And I find that it works best if you mount it in the little case 
that you often get uh, supplied with the camera because it prevents these edges from interfering with any of the buttons on the side of the camera. In order to keep this gimbal running for 12 hours it's got a huge battery in there it's 26,650 milliamp hours so conveniently Xi Yuan have added a USB port at the bottom there which will allow you to plug in your phone charging lead and actually charge your phone yeah that started charging so what I'll do now is I'll take the gimbal outside and we'll have a look and see what it's like when we're using it in real life So if I put it into selfie mode, you might be able to see a little bit better how it works. So I'll do the same walk with the gimbal and without the gimbal. So now I'm going to have to try running with it, which should be good for a laugh. Because running is not something I am particularly good at. But it will give you an idea of how the gimbal works. There's a QR code in the instructions that will take you to the Zhi Yuan website and from there you can get all the information that you need regarding the apps, downloads and software updates. When you're on the website, scroll down to the bottom and select the app that you want and it will open a QR code. If you select the QR code that shows up on the screen, and this is the one for Apple, it takes you to the app. Now I've tried searching for this in the app store and it won't come up so the only way I could get there was through the QR code. I've already installed it on, this is my iPad because it won't go on my phone. Make sure that your gimbal is turned on. There are various options on this uh, application but you can go to remote control. If you look you can actually operate the gimbal remotely. Settings, you can change various parameters like the rate that it pans, the following rate, all that sort of stuff on here. If you've got the app installed on the actual phone that's on the gimbal, then you can press this to record and stop recording. This will zoom in and out using your phone's software. And you can control recording and filming using this control pad here. I cannot get enough of moving it around and just watching the phone stay steady now. I do a lot of video work. I do videoing for my YouTube channel. And I do family videos when we go on holiday, that type of thing. And since I've got this gimbal, then the camera has been my go-to device for filming. And the other thing that I wasn't aware of is just how good the quality of the video is on these smartphones. So if you actually pair a smartphone up with one of these gimbals, you've got a very, very effective way of making your videos look way more professional. And for the price, it's absolutely brilliant value for money. I am so glad that I've got one of these things. If you're thinking about buying one of these, you're wondering whether to buy one or not and you can afford it, I would not hesitate. I think Zhi Yuan have come up with a smashing product and for the price it's absolutely brilliant. And the fact that you can charge your phone up if the battery is running flat on your phone using the gimbal is just a major advantage. It is a smashing piece of equipment and I highly recommend it. So if you record a lot of video, I would certainly think about purchasing one of these. It will improve the quality of your videos no end. Anyway, I hope you've liked the review and thank you for watching.